Welcome electronic video guests. Doing a little field trip today. We're at the campus of the world famous University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Uh, right behind me is State Street here. We're about to cut through the campus's diag. That's a diagonal path that uh, cuts through the heart of the campus. State Street here, it ends up on the other side over at South University. If you've seen on the news recently, all the rage has been the campus protests. Apparently all across American universities, people supporting the Palestinian people have been setting up uh, protest camps. And the media seems to think it's uh, the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's been, like I said, all the media rage. Well, they've got one of these Palestinian uh, protest camps here at University of Michigan. So I thought, well, let's just go up there and take a look, see what all the fuss is about. Apparently, all the campuses are gripped by fear. Uh, people are terrified. University life has been disrupted. Uh, let's just go and see how terrifying these things really are. Uh, I feel a little nervous as we're getting close. I don't know if you can see it through there. Getting close to the encampment. Uh, a little bit worried. Maybe uh, my next door neighbor was actually uh, born in a Palestinian refugee camp in Jordan. Feeling a little like I maybe should have brought him along as a human shield to come with me, but... We're going to tough this out, see what all the fuss is about. Right up ahead of us, you can see here, this is the heart of the Diag. That's where the encampment is. This is what has gripped the universities across our great nation in fear. Fear of uh, Palestinian terrorists, people uh, lending support to the people of Gaza. There you can see the encampment right here at the heart of the Diag at the University of Michigan. Now this is the, the famous sign here that has terrified many students. You can see it there. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit better as we approach the, the pro-Palestine encampment. I don't... I don't see anybody being assaulted or hear any incendiary language. It doesn't really feel all that terrifying, but perhaps as we get even closer. There's a squirrel here. Let's stop and see. Let's take a look at this squirrel. I can't tell if he's pro-Palestinian or not. Let's zoom in on that squirrel. The squirrel seems to be going about his business without any feelings of fear or trepidation. Seems to be just another day in the life of the squirrel. All right, there's the famous sign that has terrified so many people. Long live the Intifada. Apparently, just merely to gaze at this can leave one struck, uh, uh, leave one crippled by terror, anxiety, unable to continue with their life. But it looks, it looks uh, not that fearful, to tell you the truth. Let me zoom out, give you a bigger picture here of the campus as I said it doesn't really feel all that terrifying I don't know what the fuss is about uh, they say it disrupts the university uh, right behind the, uh, the encampment you see that big building there? that's the library that is the famous library where the 2023 University of Michigan National Football Champion all their players I'm sure went to that library to study their playbooks before they defeated uh, Penn State, Ohio State, Iowa, Alabama, and Washington. I'm sure the, uh, you know, perhaps just walking by this terrifying encampment may have frightened some of the, uh, or may have toughened up some of the football players going by this day by day. I'm sure it was like a, uh, more than any Oklahoma drill or, uh, any kind of a physical practice that Alabama has. So the Michigan players undoubtedly had an advantage walking by this and uh, dealing with the fear and anxiety every day. Probably gave them a mental toughness edge 
which they displayed in the Rose Bowl victory over Alabama. But here's the world-famous or their media rage encampment. Again, I don't really feel in fear of my life. Nobody's threatening me. Nobody's trying to kill me. Now, apparently, it, uh, if it's not uh, an actual terror risk, people feel it's disrupting the campus life. You can't really walk through the encampment, so you're going to have to make this huge detour all the way around it to get through the diag. So let's just see how much extra time we must spend to walk around the encampment to continue on our way through the diag. Like I said, there's the library where all the football players study at. You see here the encampment is blocked off, so we're going to have to go up through the library. Oh no, we can cut right through here. Seems like we can cut right through here, apparently. Cut through here and continue on our way through the diag. Seems very peaceful, no problems here. There's the library. Doesn't seem to be too much of an extra distance to walk as we cut through. There's the little signs. Workers are allowed to go about their business without any problems. So it doesn't seem to be that great of a disruption. Adding perhaps 30 to 45 seconds to your walk. Apparently some of the more fragile students, that is enough to set their anxiety levels sky high. Perhaps they feel the need to increase the dosages of their Adderall or Prozac or whatever anxiety medications they take. But here we see from the back end of the view the terrifying encampment. Again, I really I don't feel terrorized or threatened yet. Let's walk through and give everybody a chance to assault me or insult me or uh, terrorize me. Just seems to be people here camping out, trying to uh, show some support for the beleaguered citizens of Gaza. Let's continue all the way around so we see the entire thing. Could be somebody uh, waiting uh, uh, by this encampment to ambush us as we go around this side. So let's walk around this side and see what happens. As I said, this is the, the media rage. It's on every news story, every news channel of the day. These terrifying uh, Palestinian protesters, campuses ruled by fear. Again, I don't, I don't feel particularly fearful right now. Perhaps just the adrenaline of shooting this big video story amuses me to the terror that the average student must feel as they encounter this very threatening, this here says the liberated zone. I actually, I don't feel liberated or terrified, I just feel like I'm walking around the college campus, but beautifully hand-painted sign, very colorful with the greens and reds of Palestine, there's like a little flower, a flower uh, display there, flower arch. Again, I haven't been assaulted, haven't been shouted at. Nobody's threatened to kill me. There's a nice sign there, another nice hand-painted sign. Really doesn't seem all that terrifying. Don't know what all the fuss is about. This just says stop the genocide. I don't know who could argue against that. Here's some signs in support here. Palestine Liberation, beautifully, beautifully hand-painted, as we said. There's some pictures of the poor people in uh, Zion or in <laughs> Palestine excuse me here's some pictures of some children unfortunately here's some more signs this is the terrifying sign right here that seems to have everybody fearful uh, very nervous long live the intifada some people have claimed they've been threatened by this sign I'll stand in front of the sign for a few seconds to give it a chance to assault me or intimidate me, but I really don't think the sign is going to have the ability to to wrap itself around me and choke me or anything like that, but we'll stand here just for a minute just to make sure, give it a fair chance. As we said, uh, uh, I really don't feel that fearful. The people around here seem to be going about their business. Somebody just kicked over a sign. I guess they're angered by it. He wasn't, he was allowed to, he was allowed to uh, vandalize that sign without any incident from the protesters. So I don't know what all the big fuss is about. Again, I don't feel that intimidated or threatened or scared. 
as I said, as you can see here at the campus, people going about their business. The disruption here is very minor, as I said. It probably takes you an extra 30 seconds to walk around the encampment to get through to the other side of the diag. So maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe this is the worst thing in the world. Of course, the mainstream media, they're probably right as usual. I guess this is a, a major issue and people should be terrified and living in fear and wishing the government would come in with the National Guard and tear all these things down. But for me, I made the trip down here just to see for my own self what it was like. I'm going to head out, like I said, a little bit let down. I was primed up to get terrorized or assaulted or at least feel some uh, uh, intimidation tactics, but nothing really happened. Just a peaceful stroll on a nice morning around the campus of the University of Michigan. That's just about it. Once again, one last chance for someone to come out and terrify me, but doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So. There you had a first-hand look at the story that is gripping the nation, all the media rage, the pro-Palestine protesters that are terrorizing the United States of America. This is probably the longest look most of you ever had at one of these uh, encampments. See the little four or five second news clips. So here it is. Decide for yourself. Is this something that really should terrify the United States of America or is it not that big a deal? We'll let you decide. Uh, you know, some people are afraid of spiders, some people aren't. Everybody is allowed to have their own opinion on these things. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me if somebody thinks differently than I do about a subject, but some people apparently are a little weak of mind and they want everybody to be terrified of the same things and support of the same things. But I'm not that way, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, you've had your, I've given you a nice look at this encampment. We're going to head back through the campus. As I said, everybody's going about their business. Nobody here really seemed all that terrified by it, but well, who knows? Maybe the mainstream media knows best. There's that, those squirrels over there going about their business. They're not terrified at all. A little bird here doesn't seem to be bothered by the pro-Palestine protesters picking worms out of the ground, squirrels going about their daily business. So that's it from the University of Michigan. One last look at the world-famous pro-Palestine encampment, striking fear in the hearts of the masses. But like I said, I came for myself to see what it was, and uh, I really don't feel <laughs> too scared at all. I feel rather much like this squirrel here, just going about his day's business. That's it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Hey, give me, if you like this video, hit that like button. Maybe become a subscriber. Really appreciate it. Just like this squirrel now, but get a little, a little something to eat and enjoy the rest of my day.